So in this piece, probably the most problems you will have is because it keeps switching from sharp to natural. So what I would do is I kind of think of it as being two different positions, sort of the regular position and then the flat position. So for example, when you're switching back, let's say from bar 13, you're going, that's normal position. And then it's flat position. So I actually bend my hand back and then I'm in a flat position. Normal and then flat, still flat. And then normal position. So you see how I actually kind of moved my hand and then you're gonna be in tune for sure because it's like two separate things. Next part, flat, but that's normal. Okay, so this part that I'm coming to is probably the, the hardest bit because it's kind of a weird tune and you have a funny shift, but it's actually really easy to get this part because what you need to do is use the G sharp, so here. to find your G natural. Even if you didn't have tape like I do, I just have it so that you can kind of see where I'm putting my fingers. But if your sharp is there, your G natural is right there. So hold this down, put your second finger there, and then move your hand up. And that's a semitone, close together. And then there's kind of no way you can be out of tune. So I would practice that slowly. So go like this. That's the G sharp. Put your G natural there and then move your hand up. Okay, so you can practice that a bunch of times if you want. You can just go like. So first position, put your second finger there. All right, or go from bar 25 to 26. Finger move. You see, once you practice it, you've got two open strings to be able to get up there anyway. So, finger there, move. And that's it. And probably the other kind of tricky bit is near the end, bar 40, 40 onwards. So, normal position, natural, and then flat position. That's a flat as well. Okay, and then natural. So think of it like two different positions. Normal, and then <laughs> ignore that E I just missed. But other than that, I think those are kind of all the tricky parts.